So now that we've got a little bit more knowledge about JSX, let's go ahead and put pen to paper and kick off our first app. This example will use JSX that will be compiled inside of our browser without any additional tooling. In other words, we're going to write JSX directly into our HTML document and expect React in the browser to know what to do with it. Now in the future, we're going to put all of our JSX into separate files and compile each of those, but we'll get to that later on. Taking that approach has the added benefit of allowing us to organize our code much more cleanly. But anyways, let's get started here. In my terminal at my project directory, have a hello world. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new file, index.html, and then I'm gonna open it up inside my code editor. Cool, so here we are. We're going to start off by adding a new head tag. And then we'll go ahead and throw in our body as well. Cool. So to get started, we're going to include two separate libraries. The first one is going to be the uh, default React library. And the second will be a JSX transformer. And that's going to be the component that translates the JSX we write directly into this document here into code that can be understood by React. So let's go and find two script tags, one for each of these libraries that we're going to include. I'm gonna open up my browser, and then we're going to navigate to cdnjs.com. And then once we're here, we'll search for just React, and it should be the first result that pops up here. Now at the time of this writing, 13.3 is the most recent edition uh, 14.0 is going to come out very, very shortly here, and future sections that you go through are going to be using 14.0. For right now, though, even if you see 14.0 as a live release on this list, I ask you to go ahead and select the 13.3 version. And the reason behind that is it's the last version that shipped with the JSX transformer right here as a part of the default library. So with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and for the JSX transformer, we'll go ahead and copy a link. And I'm going to go back over to my code editor, we'll add a script tag, and paste in that link, and then we'll close off the script tag like so. I'm going to open another script tag, and then we're going to come back over to our uh, CDNJS we'll find react.js and copy it, flip back over, we'll paste it in between the two quotes, and then again, we'll close our script tag off. Okay, terrific. So again, let me shrink the font size here just a little bit. There we go, now it's nice and visible. So again, the first link here is the in-browser transformer. It's what's going to take the JSX we write inside of this HTML document and translate it into code that React and the browser can understand. And then the second tag is for the actual React library. So with that in mind, let's continue on to the next section.